Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, which is Lian Ru. Today we're going to learn to calculate labor force participation rate as well as the unemployment rate. I get this number from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the number is for April 2020 during the lockdown of the coronavirus pandemic. And we can see first, we're going to see the block of non-institutionalized population and that's 260 million people. So what that means is that you're an adult over 16 years old and you're not in jail, for example. And among these 260 million people, 104 million of them, they are not in the labor force, meaning maybe you are a full-time mom or dad who stay at home taking care of children, or if you are a full-time college student, for example, so you are not looking for a job. You're not working, but you're not looking for a job. So we say that you're not in the labor force and it's 104 million of them. And the next is the employed. So um, there are 133 million people who are employed in the month of April in the United States. So if you have a part-time job or if you have a full-time job, just any kind of job, if you're working, then you're counted as employed. And the next, there are 23 million people who are unemployed, meaning you want to work, you are actively looking for a job, but you don't get a job. So to be counted as unemployed, you must be actively looking for a job. And there are 23 million of them. So we can take a look at what the labor force is. The labor force is employed plus unemployed. And that will be 133 million plus 23 million. And that gives you 156 million. These are the labor force. And unemployment rate will be the number of unemployed, 23 million, divided by the labor force. Notice that it's not a whole, not institutionalized population, but it is only the labor force, meaning the employed plus the unemployed. And that's 156 million of them. And after you calculate, you'll find out that the unemployment rate currently in April is 14.7%. So that's a very high number. In fact, the highest number since the Great Depression. And the labor force participation rate is this. You're going to use the labor force, 156 million, divided by the total non-institutionalized population, which is 260 million. And that gives you 60% of labor force participation rate. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.